It's your boy Nizzy, and welcome to another high school league recap for the eSport company. Let's take a look at week three. Overwatch Division 1, we had Greater Johnstown up against Moshannon Valley, Forest Hills versus Bishop Carroll, and Winber taking on Berlin Brothers Valley. Now let's take a look at our top five plays of the week for Division 1 Overwatch. Number five is going to be Trojan 1 of Greater Johnstown. Gets a long boop off the map environmental kill gets the reload and then the bastion is no more for that number five play moving on to number four it's also greater johnstown trojan one now this time on the rip tire of junk rat is going to get a nice kill on the moira and then a flank double kill with the rip tire and this rip tire play for number three is actually going to be of bloodhounds force of forest hills with that flank triple from the top ropes love to see it Number two is going to be Flip Stingray. You all know the name of Forest Hills. Slicing and dicing on that dry blade. And just the mechanics are there. Doesn't care that the Mercy Hills are coming through. That Hanzo is done. And your number one play is River Galaxy. A triple kill to start things off for this clip. Reloads his clip. And he's going to get the pick onto that Lucio. Eventually, but not before he gets the Moira down. It's actually going to be a, a eventually turns into a team wipe. They're just going to keep coming out, and he got a little bit of a damage boost there. But nonetheless, Greater Johnstown wins 2 0. Forest Hills wins 2 0. Forest Hills with a commanding 3 0 lead over the pack. Somerset also in second place with a game behind their 2 0. Those are the two teams to beat for Overwatch Division 1. I'm out. Hello everyone, welcome back to the eSports Company High School League Overwatch Division 1 Spring 2022 season. I am Joker's Rants and I'm here alongside Lord Thethan. Thethan, how are you doing today, good sir? Oh, I'm doing really swell, Joker. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, I look forward to watching the TEC High School League uh, play every week. Uh, this is uh, this is really a big highlight for me. And I think we've got some pretty exciting matchups that we'll be diving into today for TEC High School Overwatch. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a good day for sure. Definitely is. We're going to be starting out tonight with the matchup um, of Bishop Carroll versus Greater Johnstown. Then we're going to head into uh, Berlin Brothers Valley versus Forest Hills. And then finishing off the night with Winber versus Somerset. But to, talk, um, to start things off here tonight, we've got two teams, if we look at our standings, that are pretty close to each other. Bishop Carroll 1-1 one and, one, and Greater Johnstown 1-2. and two. Yeah, and so you know this is uh, this is a matchup that uh, on pen and paper uh, just looks uh, looks a lot closer than some of the previous matchups we've seen so far in the uh, in the high school league. I'm very excited to see how these uh, how these squads really orient themselves around each other's play styles. So taking a look uh, here to start off with uh, Bishop Carroll's roster. You know, of course, they're all on those uh, on those school accounts there. But, uh, you know, for them, you'll have uh, Josh and Olivia on the support lineup, keeping everyone healed up. Tommy Yu and Kenzie will be dishing out the damage on the DPS roll, helping to secure those uh, those eliminations. And Tommy B and Aiden will be the ever steady front lines for this team we've seen them a couple of times before now joker and i think that uh you know we're, we're a pretty good ways through the season as well uh it's time for bishop carroll to show us what they got 
Definitely, definitely. And they're going to have a very tough task. We saw it last week this Greater Johnstown roster. We saw them in the, the, uh, the weekly recap as well. A lot of plays coming out from them. Um, we'll see this roster yet again from last week with Trick to Death and I'm Just Mythic on the tank line. Then River Galaxy, that Widow Extraordinaire that we saw on Junker Town. We won't be seeing Junker Town this week, but maybe we'll see some more of that Widowmaker. Uh, Trojan 1, which is Cooper. Game Genics and uh, Trojan 4, which is Zeke on the support line. Cooper is a DPS player. Yes, and you know, it's uh, it's I, I've seen Greater Johnstown, I think, uh, pretty much every week uh, so far, so uh, I'm pretty familiar with uh, with them and their play style. Uh, and and again, I got to go back to this matchup, Joker. It's uh, it, it's a close one. This might be the series that goes all three maps. And hey, you know, if uh, if you get a draw on that assault game mode, then maybe it goes to four. But first, we'll have to get through those first two maps, uh, uh to start off with heading into. To map one it is going to be the control point game mode we'll be heading into the wintry chilling depths of nepal well it's springtime i don't want to be here uh but <laughs> i love the map nonetheless um even if it is all wintry as we just got out of this winter time season but we're going to be loading in we're going to be starting here out on sanctum Sanctum is a pretty interesting map, and, and you know, honestly, as far as control points go, I, I do like uh, uh, Nepal over something like Lijiang Tower. You have a little bit more liberty with uh, the strategies that you can employ for success. Uh, here on Sanctum, I would actually be uh, more uh, used to seeing, uh, you know, say the, the more poke-style compositions. You just kind of bide your time until you secure an opening kill and then move in. For both of these teams, however, it's going to be an all all out brawl a little bit of a discrepancy on the support lineup here in particular trojan 4 uh, that's uh, zeke is going to be on the mercy with game Genix on the moira that's a lot of sustain especially considering the amount of damage that greater johnstown will be able to dish out as well but bishop carroll has a lot of utility coming to this first fight with carroll one that is josh on the lucio for speed yeah, definitely, as they're already going to be looking to get to point early on. We're seeing I'm just Mythic trying to keep them uh, honest for the time being as well with Trojan 1 Cooper and on this Reaper on this flank, but they're going to get it focused out and not going to get as much damage as they'd like to. But Carol 2, Tommy Yu, super low right now. If they can get this pick, they might be able to go in on it as Bishop Carol have started off early on with the first, uh, uh, first capture percentage of the map. Yeah, absolutely. And this is where I would really want to see Trojan, I'm sorry, Carol 6, that is Aiden, really push up and take a little Ooh. bit of space. You see Carol 5, Kenzie ends up going down to I'm just Mythic. Well, the pin comes in from Aiden, trying to turn something back. But, and now it does. Bishop Carol is going to be looking to get everything going into their favor. They got all these picks now on to the side of Greater Johnstown as they're just going to finish things up. Trick to Death does get Tommy Yu out of the fight, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, that was a really good fight for Bishop Carroll to resolve the way that it did, despite uh, the inherent man disadvantage from losing Kenzie on the front lines there. It's still a presence on the objective that Bishop Carroll is really opting for. Uh, so it, it was really a lot is riding on Josh Carroll 1 here to, uh, to kind of call the moments of aggression that Bishop can seize on. As we saw that hero 5, Kenzie trying to catch out River Galaxy, who has swapped over to the Tracer now to get maybe some uh, flank uh, roots in, try to get someone out early on. But they're looking to get this flank, looking for someone. Not going to find anything yet, however, but the Ant Matrix is now on the board for Carol 3. Olivia looking to pump in as much damage as they possibly can, but Trick to Death takes out Tommy Yu early on. And now that's going to be opening things up for the side of Greater Johnstown. As I'm just Smith has this whole hog on the board, and they're going to be using it early on. The self destruct coming out now. There's so I slam. As well as Carol 4. Tommy B finds two of their own. And that is going to be side of Bishop Carroll winning this fight out yet again. 
Well, let's go, Tommy B. I've, uh, like I mentioned, I've, I've seen Bishop Carroll a couple of times now, and uh, it's good. To, it's it's so refreshing to see uh, uh, to see Tommy B getting a little bit of time in the limelight. There, you still see a couple of those glowing check marks uh, online for Bishop Carroll. They invested their most powerful abilities into that uh, into that last fight, but uh, you know they still had a couple more resources that they could sit on there. Uh, for Bishop Carroll, it's um, it's just a luxury to have some of those contingencies if uh, if they need it. Uh, but, uh, you know, otherwise, uh, really, uh, really good stuff from them. Uh, for Greater Johnstown, it was uh, even despite the uh, an early pickoff onto a member of Bishop Carroll. It's, uh, you know, the, the game of Overwatch, it's interesting. In the 6v6 format, it's not so much about securing however many kills it's about securing the right ones so you know without uh, bishop carroll losing uh you know say the the lucy or the baptiste you know there's not too much to move in on well bishop carroll did ha or have a little bit of a mishap going forward with their uh, symmetric turret well, it's going to give yeah. both teams a uh, a chance to get into this first fight as greater johnstone looking to start things off but carroll six aiden has taken out one but that's nah, not going to matter because, well, the rest of Greater Johnstown has tightened it up and gotten all the picks they need to secure this first fight. I have to say that uh, I'm just mythic on the uh, on the Zarya instead of the Hog is uh, is is pretty interesting to me. I understand the Hog running that on Sanctum. You can get some of those environmental eliminations uh, uh, with that hook, but I do like the Zarya here to make sure that Trick's Death can you know just kind of play however uh, freely they would like. And you see they're rewarded for it as well. They're 90 percent to that uh, to that Earth Shatter. Uh, that could end the team fight before it even begins. Yeah, definitely. Um, Bishop Carroll also having this Earth Shatter on the board, and they're gonna Ooh. land. Hit both of the tanks. No real follow up bust onto Zeke. Just as I say that, though, Carol 6 Aiden just gets a 3k and they're gonna follow things up and finish this fight into the favor of Bishop Carroll here. You know, there is uh, there is nothing like seeing a Reinhardt uh, go for the shatter and then swing and swing and swing until they drop. Uh, you know, Aiden had uh, 1,600 health points on that barrier, but they did not care at all. They wanted those final blows. Good stuff from Bishop Carroll for the retake strategy here. Still have a little bit of percentage on the board here of the, of the objective for Greater Johnstown. And they've got some ults into this fight as well. Yeah. Oh, and they're going to take down Carol 5 early on, getting up to that uh, dead eye was Kenzie on that. The uh, the attack visor is going to come out, but they're going to go down. And this shatter comes out again from Aiden. Yeah, again, that's my flip the fight on its head, and it does. The side of Bishop Carol holding strong yet again with the team kill gong being sounded. Absolutely nutty. Uh, Trick's death was definitely not tracking uh, the the buildup of that second shatter that uh, that Aiden's been able to utilize, and uh, you know it's just kind of unlucky. You you, you don't realize that uh, that the enemy Ryan has gotten to swing or fire strike that many targets, and uh, now it's uh, going to really be on Trick's death to find a shatter of their own. But look at the stick! Oh my goodness! Sir. They were happy with getting Game Genix, who was in the middle of the coalescence, but they got River Galaxy as well. The shatter coming out jump shatter anything as the side of greater johnstown just look lost right now here at ethan if they're gonna try to get a riptide they do take down aiden they might be able to turn it back with a response coming through but it's not going to be for a little bit uh, but look at this uh, Joker, you know, Bishop Carroll, despite uh, being down their main tank, they've got the sound barrier, the coalescence from uh, from Josh and Olivia. That's a lot of sustain to cut through. Yeah, as they're going to start off, there comes the coalescence out from Olivia on the support and Carroll for Tommy B. Tommy B. B. 3K self-destruct yet yeah, again, the, uh, stopping the fight before it really even began as Bishop Carroll should finish this out with a 2-0 on the ball. Oh man, I think I said this last week, but uh, about uh, about a different player. But Tommy B, reach out to me. I need a workshop on how to get those big diva bombs. I'm lucky if I get one elimination oh, onto absolutely. onto say the uh, uh, the enemy diva mech. Uh, but that was uh, that was absolutely insane. Very decisive here for Bishop Carroll to start off map one. Ooh, and here's that shatter in the face. Uh, again, what some nice plays indeed coming out from Bishop Carroll with this the team kill now being sounded. But, yeah, uh, what a very decisive first map here, Thethan. 
Yeah, and I think that as well, we do have to consider that the map really caters to the strengths that we've uh, seen Bishop Carroll really capitalize on so far in the TEC High School League. Uh, it's uh, it, it's it's a map that you can really, if you want to play that brawl over the poke base compositions, and you've got that Baptiste, that Lucio, and can just rush into your opponents and free swing and not worry about mitigating any damage with that uh, with that uh, barrier Aiden is able to proc up, then you know you can do that on a, on a map like Nepal. Heading into map two, it'll be the uh, the escort game mode, and things might be a little bit more challenging for Aiden, depending on the composition that Greater Johnstown runs. Uh, Dorado is the next map, where the name of the game is to advance an objective in the form of a payload from the very beginning to the very end of the map. And, uh, you know, honestly, at least in my experience, Joker, this isn't one of Reinhardt's best maps. Definitely not. Um, I love to, uh, as a as a person who loves to play Winston, I love in getting yeah. Dorado into my competitive uh, queues um, because it, it, it works so well. You, it, there's so much high ground to take, and it can work all three points. I mean, less so on point three. That's why you're probably going to see a Reinhardt if we see it as much, uh, most likely. But, I mean, again, it, it really depends on how comfortable you are if you're not comfortable forcing uh playing the winston it's better off forcing the reinhardt into uh another team uh, because if you force it enough that they're gonna you know uh they're gonna have to they mirror mirror you at it yeah, we'll have to see how Greater Johnstown Trojans uh, really want to tackle capturing all three of those objectives on Dorado. Uh, I think that for uh, for the Trojans, you know, I think that really just what needs to happen is, you know, it, it, for every investment that they see Bishop Carroll make, they've got to invest something of their own as well, yeah. right? So, uh, you know, an obvious example is you see the Nano Blade drawn from a Genji and an Ana on the enemy team. You know, your Zenyatta or your Lucio needs to use their defensive ult, right? So mm -hmm. equal trades being made in the interest of prolonging these team fights. Some compositions, some strategies benefit the longer a fight goes on. Some of them, uh, you know, want to operate on the short term. Uh, and uh, so Greater Johnstown, they've just got to figure out what that win condition really is and, uh, and find a way to enable each other uh, to fight back against the opposition that Bishop Carroll Huskies represent from Greater Johnstown, uh, uh, who will uh, again be attacking first. I'm, you know, I'm already kind of liking what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I mean, I'm liking it, but I was not expecting it because uh, if you really think about it, um, if you go back to like, oh, um, if you look back in like Overwatch League and higher tiers of uh, Overwatch, you could see a sniper character. We've seen River Galaxy be very good at long range hit scan, especially on that Widowmaker. I wasn't uh, specifically thinking Widowmaker, maybe an Ash, but I mean, the, the bunker style composition is still gonna work very well, especially with the single shield uh, composition that Bishop Carroll is running. Yeah, and as well, you know, you've got uh, you've got Tommy B on the Zarya now instead of the Diva, so it's a little bit uh, well, let's not lie, a lot a bit uh, less damage mitigation. There you already see the immortality field deployed uh, by, uh, uh, by Olivia as well. Yeah, and it's working out this bastion of River Galaxy. It's just melting the shield of Trick, uh, sorry, Carol Six Aiden, and they're gonna take out uh, Carol Two, which is Tommy Yu early on. And this is looking good for the side of Johnstown right now. They're they're gonna continue to push forward, looking to get these picks. But right now, uh, the uh, River Galaxy is separated from their squad, and they're gonna go down. It isn't even trade all around, but the respawn advantage currently into the favor of Greater Johnstown, but it's not going to matter, as Bishop Carroll is gonna come back strong, get every pick they need to win this fight. Yeah, uh, you'll see a stack elimination here onto uh, Trojan 1. That is uh, Cooper, a, a valiant effort there. And they get rewarded for it. They're, they're a little bit closer to that rip tire there. Uh, you know, River Galaxy's rotation around the back line of Bishop Carroll, that's space created. You know, they got uh, most of the members of Bishop Carroll to turn around there. But at the same time, that's focus fire from Bishop. Uh, you know, they were able to turn around, dispatch that threat, and then whip right back around and take that fight to the objective. They got a couple of ults. Uh, well, they got a handful of ultimate coming into this next fight as well, even despite losing the Immortality Field early. Yeah, it's still interesting. They're still on this uh, this, uh, this Bastion as uh, they, they're, their setup did get busted already. They're going to 
pop this uh immor or, sorry ant matrix coming in from Carol three which is olivia not gonna find really much but there goes uh josh down on that mercy as they're gonna also pop tank configuration going forward looking to pump in as much damage as they possibly can the rip tire coming out as well looking to find a couple but no it's gonna be destroyed by Ooh. Carol two which is Tommy Yu, but it's not going to matter. The damage is already done as Greater Johnstown are gonna be finally unlocking this cart with it's just Olivia left to uh, defend the point. Yeah, uh, you have the Valkyrie proct as well from Josh, I think in an effort to, you know, see if they can reconnect to the rest of the Huskies in time, but, uh, you know, such is not the case. And, you know, that's uh, kind of what I alluded to, equal trades made on both sides. But, uh, at Greater Johnstown, they see that the Amplification Matrix has been deployed by Olivia there on the Baptiste, who's now swapped onto the Moira. Uh, and uh, and so they invest the tank configuration, the tire of their own. That's exactly what I needed to see here from Greater Johnstown, starting off this fight with a man advantage. Yeah, and uh, just just so much damage comes out from River Galaxy right now with uh, Trojan Force Zeke picking or uh, just pocketing the heck out of them right now. Dragon Strike is gonna focus them off and is gonna take down Zeke early on. This is an opening that Bishop Carroll would love to take. They'd love to take it now, but they're not uh, seeming to. But now, as I say that, Olivia takes down Trojan One Cooper going down and this should just be the side of Bishop Carroll coming back and retaking with ease. Yeah, you see Tommy V trying to line up uh, an opportunity for the grab as well, getting a little bit of energy in the process, but it is Tommy you picking up the picks here. There are some good kills. There are some good kills indeed. I don't think that was a wise res coming in from uh, Zeke there because uh, you could have just staggered out your uh, Moira, but um, I mean, it worked out in the end. They got him back alive. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Game Jax is uh, able to get back out. The thing about reviving at that point, I agree, it's not something that I would have personally gone for, but, you know, now it allows Greater Johnstown to get a tempo res, uh, tempo revive uh, into this next fight. Might not be able to use it, though. Look at this grab. Looking to be from on high, but just going to connect. Oh, they're going to get the, both of the, all the support. Three gonna need to win this fight they've invested so much as greater johnstone though they've arrested the mercy re the the valkyrie as well as the shatter and the tank configuration and got a team uh, you know, wiped on a team kill it, that's the question that you've always got to ask is uh especially when you're playing against hanzos uh right hanzo players on the rank ladder is is it luck or skill right in uh in solo queue ranked gameplay you gotta say it's just luck right it's unlucky that i got randomly headshot but uh you know in organized team play we gotta attribute it to some skill uh you know i don't think that tommy b was aiming to get the valkyrie zeke uh, who would have had mobility if they weren't trapped in that zarya ultimate but uh you know i i gotta give it to him that was a that was a really good grab Yes, indeed it was. As River Galaxy is now swapped over for back to the Tracer. We saw them do on Nepal. They need to get a pick and they need to get one early on. It's not going to matter. Kenzie's already started things off with a dead eye kill onto Cooper. And then the Coalescence is going to find two as well. As the side of Bishop Carroll are looking a strong on this point two defense. Yeah, that's both support ults to invest in that fight from Bishop Carroll. But, you know, a fight win is a fight win. And uh, and as well, this late revive onto, uh, onto Kenzie means that, again, they'll have that uh, tempo revive if they need it as the next mid fight really breaks out. A swap here from I'm Just Mythic now onto the Zarya. It's, uh, they're forgoing the double shield comp and really trying to go just towards a full brawl oriented style of engagements. No ults to speak of on either side, but you will have Aiden proc up that Earth Shatter here relatively soon. Yeah, uh, definitely. As we're going to see, they need to get something here with this. Uh with this rip tire as river galaxy is going to go down it is traded out but there it goes yet again into the favor of bishop carroll as cooper couldn't even get to use that uh that rip, rip tire to win this fight as bishop carroll are gonna just win yet again and it's down to 22 seconds yeah, look at that time bank just being bled out of the side of Greater Johnstown. They need a last second touch here, which means River Galaxy has to sit on all three of those blinks for now, but is under a little bit of duress. There's the damage or chipping away that low health pool of Tracer. Yeah, they're gonna be able to get the touch. The Reptire is out looking to find something, but no, Tommy Yu is gonna find it before it meets its mark. They're going to charge in, looking to get some damage going. Trickstat does take down Carol to Tommy Yu, gone out of this fight. 
but they need more and they need more quickly as the side of Bishop Carroll are doubling down on this defense yet again as they're finding two picks in this fight. The Shatter comes out, connects to Game Genix as the side of Bishop Carroll complete the second point hold and now line themselves up for the victory. Yeah, it's the, for Bishop Carroll Huskies, this is a very winnable game. All they got to do is just make sure their attack is as clean as possible and uh, take it from there. Uh, I, I've uh, I've got to say, here in the past uh, for TEC High School League Overwatch, uh, we've seen... Uh, it's so interesting, you know. You watch, uh, you watch the the pros play, right? You watch Overwatch League, and the games are just so incredibly fast paced. And there have been a couple of uh, of series that you know teams just end up kind of biding their time, kind of uh, the the tempo is just relatively slower, right? But uh, here for Bishop Carroll and Greater Johnstown, it's such an interesting matchup to me. Even if it does end up the series as a whole ends up being decisive here for Bishop Carroll, I, I I'm pretty impressed that Greater Johnstown is matching the pace that Bishop Carroll is looking to take this game. Uh, to a certain extent, Greater Johnstown, especially there on first point with River Galaxy on the Bastion, they were setting the tempo for the uh, for the match there with just oppressive amounts of damage. Yeah, definitely. And, and when they had that tempo, it, they they looked strong. But now yeah. when they're forced to take a uh, take that Ryan duel that we were seeing on Nepal, it, Bishop Carroll just looked far superior. And now... We're going to be seeing, uh, for the first time, the Winston coming out from Bishop Carroll here, Thiefen. Yeah, you know, there's no Ana or Zen or Brig uh, in the support lineup here for Bishop Carroll, which is interesting. Those are the supports you typically see with these dive tanks. Without them, it plays more like a brawl composition than a high mobility dive comp. And already you're seeing Bishop Carroll try and, uh, you know, kind of just walk up to that high ground so that the supports can stay engaged in these fights. Yeah, it is something like a, the six-man composition coming in here from the side of Bishop Carroll. But they are going to find this first pick in the fight. Mythic going down, and this is just going to be another team fight win for Bishop Carroll with Tommy Yu finding two of their own with on the Hanzo. You saw River Galaxy kind of challenging uh, Tommy Yu there uh, in the Hanzo duel. It, it, those are so scary for me. I, I'm not a very good Hanzo player, so when I'm confronted with another Hanzo, I, I, get, uh, I get pretty nervous. River Galaxy, understandably so, backs out of here because there is an opportunity for Greater Johnstown to reconnect to this next, uh, or to this objective. They definitely need to try because if they do not, it's going to be a very big time bank for the side of Bishop Carroll. They do come back strong. They've taken down Kenzie. But it's not going to matter because, well, they, they find one, but then three goes into the favor of Bishop Carroll. As this is going to massive time bank going into point two, and they're looking to find more picks on to the stragglers. Yeah, look at, uh, look at Tommy B there, popping off on the D.Va. Uh, like I mentioned uh, earlier, they, uh, just an absolute powerhouse in the uh, in the tank category right now, and plenty of space being capitalized on uh, by the rest of Bishop Carroll. Uh, but, uh, you know, you want to talk about tempo setting in these games. I think that the engagements from Aiden are really good. I also do like the switch from River Galaxy onto the Reaper. It's just a lot of frontline face, uh, you know, a kind of close range damage uh, to pressure out the tanks for Bishop Carroll. Yeah, definitely, as um, Carol 2 is going to take out River Galaxy, that's going to be Tommy Yu, and then there it goes yet again. Picks coming in for the side of Bishop Carroll, they do take down one, Kenzie is out of the fight. They're going to still try to win this out, as they need to win it quickly, but they're going to invest the sound barrier, it is Josh, to try to keep it into the favor of Bishop Carroll. They're going to find one with the Primal Rage as well, and it looks to be still into the favor of the team in blue, as this, the Tesla can is finding so much damage on the multiple targets. They're going to try to flip it back with a Riptire coming in. They do take down Kenzie, but yeah, again, it's, it just seems a little bit too late. It's a really nice leap there from uh, from Aiden to, to juke the tire. Uh, Kenzie goes down, but uh, you know that's uh, that's a little unlucky. The self destruct possibly committed here to remake. No, uh, you know uh, Tommy B's going to sit on the sit on the self destruct. Well, they're definitely doing not going to need it because well that's the map, that's the series. Bishop Carroll takes it in a quick 2-0 fashion.
Yeah, I, that was a uh, that was a, a rather rapid, uh, rapidly paced uh, uh, series there between these two teams. A little unfortunate for me because I was looking forward to uh, to seeing uh, what uh, what responses uh, Greater Johnstown Trojans uh, had to uh, to the way that Bishop Carroll was playing. Oh, look at that! You don't typically see both the shatter and the grav committed, but uh, you know you've got uh, you got. Uh, Tommy, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, Aiden and uh, Tommy B, like I mentioned, popping off on the tank lineup here. Um, you know, for Greater Johnstown, uh, again, uh, I gotta, I gotta say something I've said previously. You know, this is not a bad loss. Uh, the uh, the worst games that we play in Overwatch are always the ones that we don't learn anything from, and there's uh, there's definitely plenty to take away from this series. Yeah, definitely. I, I'd have to agree with you there. Um, Mythic was looking good yet yeah, again on that Roadhog yeah. and Trick Death as well. Uh, Trick's Death um, was also playing very well on that uh, uh, the Reinhardt. I think it's just uh, studying up these ulti the ultimate rotation coming out from uh, Greater Johnstown. And they're a lot of definitely a better team. And uh, that's something they definitely need to work out, uh, work uh, going into next week. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that's something that we've gotten to see from all of our contenders here in the TEC High School League is just, you know, all of these teams are just constantly getting better. That's uh, that's why the ranked ladder is constantly shifting around is because, you know, everyone is uh, everyone's picking up uh, their understanding of how to play Overwatch. So, you know, big, uh, big, big improvements uh, made in uh, both of these teams endeavors. I'll be looking forward to seeing those uh, continued improvements. But at least for now, Bishop Carroll is going to rest easy after this decisive 2-0 win. Yep, as we're going to head to a short little break before our next match between Berlin Brothers Valley versus Forest Hills. You're not going to want to miss that, so stick around on the Esports Company Twitch channel. Welcome back, everyone. Unfortunately, we have some bad news for you. The game, the second game of the evening, which would have been Berlin Brothers Valley versus Forest Hills, is going to have to be canceled on stream. We did not, uh, could not get in touch with the team, uh, the Berlin team. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be having this, uh, uh this bro match on broadcast tonight. Yeah, it's a little bit less Overwatch than we had anticipated for the afternoon, but it's not all the Overwatch that we've got here for you uh, for the TEC High School League. Coming back at you at, uh, at around 5.15 EDT, we'll be bringing you the Winber v. Somerset matchup. So, uh, you know, take a, take a step back, go grab a snack or a drink, and uh, and rejoin us here at that, uh, at that time to watch the final matchup for this afternoon. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. We're finally back, ready for some uh, for the third matchup of our evening. Well, second, it's supposed to be our third. Sorry about that. As Winver versus Somerset, I'm still here with Lord Thethan. Thethan, are you excited to get back into some Overwatch? 
Yeah, after the extended downtime, I'm ready to jump back into the Overwatch action. Let's not waste any time here, Joker, and see if we can get to that ever-elusive map three. Here between the Wimber Ramblers and Somerset Golden Eagles. Taking a look at the Wimbler Ram oh, I'm sorry, Wimber Ramblers uh, here to start off with. You'll have uh, you'll have Xander and Andrew. That's going to be uh, WASD Sports. Uh, three and four on the tank lineup. Uh, Wasta Esports uh, uh, one and two are going to be Veronica and Owen. Their job is to keep the team alive and provide those essential utilities. While five and six are Garrett and Ben going to be dishing out the hurt as the DPS players for this squad. And then on the side of Somerset, one of our undefeated teams, we've got uh, Savo Prowler and MJ plays on the tank line. Yi Yibo and Arson Nuwu on the DPS. And then rounding it out, Kitten Spy and Thick Swiss on that support line. Very excited to see this matchup really unfold. The the Wimper Ramblers have had a, uh, I think a, a little bit of a slower start to the uh, season. They're still one and two uh, in the uh, overall series standings. Uh, going up against Somerset, who are currently two and zero, oh, so definitely a little bit of a, you know, on paper, a kind of a, a favored team in this matchup. But as I alluded to previously, Joker, you know, the, the real name of the game here is uh, constantly learning, constantly improving, and uh, figuring out how to apply those mid-game adaptations. We'll see those come into play in a big way heading into our first map. It's going to be that control point game mode once again, heading into the icy streets of Nepal. But this time we're not going to the warmth of the inner sanctum of the, uh, of the Omnic Monastery. It's actually going to be the village on the outskirts so that we will see these teams stage this first round. Yeah, as um, we're seeing right now from um, both of these teams opting for Reinhardt for the side of Somerset, going for a brawl composition with a Sombra instead. Look for that uh, Arson on that Sombra to get as many hacks as they possibly can. Yeah, it's an interesting utility. You sacrifice a little bit of damage uh, for uh, the ability to just totally disable someone's kit. So Arsenewu is also going to be able to do some early scouting here as well. It allows Winber to get the full rotation. Uh, I'm sorry, it allows Somerset to get the full rotation onto that objective first. We're looking to pump in some damage. Try to catch them out. We're going to get a translocate away. But it's right now Somerset taking the first hold of the point as Winber not going to be able to get on before it caps and goes into the favor for the team in red. And they're just going to pump in some damage now just to keep the, the map bay and not let them get to the point. And as we're going to see, uh, nothing really doing, but the nice hook comes through from Wes Esports 4. Andrew not going to find that pick, but now that immortality field has now gone down. They might be able to take out Prowler. No, he's going to get healed up, staying alive on this roll, that tank roll, but the DMAC coming through onto MJ Plays. She is no longer a threat into this fight, but it's not going to matter as the Prowler is laying down the Shatter. The Reptile does come out from Wes Eastwood 6 Whoa. and does find three with the rip tire to turn it back into the favor of Winburn. Absolutely phenomenal rip tire committed on the objective there from uh, from Ben for Winber. Uh, that was uh, that was a fantastic investment into uh, into really a fight that had broken out into those late stages. Uh, that was uh, really Winber's fight to lose there, unable to take a lot of agency in that uh, in that engagement, but ultimately coming through. Big uh, big shout out to uh, to Ben there on the DPS role, and as well, you know, when you talk about ults that uh, that helped to uh, clear out a little bit of space. There's the dragons. It's it's not space created though, it's a kill secured onto Thick Swiss. Well, and there comes another pick as well from Garrett on this Hanzo. Going to take it out, Kitten Spy. Another pick coming in for the Hanzo of Winber. Going to be able to keep it uh, Somerset at bay and win this fight outright yet again. Really good stuff from Winber. I, I, oh man, look at Garrett popping off on the DPS roll as well. You know, you saw that uh, you saw that Somerset was able to build that uh, that first Earth Shatter, uh, the uh, the Reinhardt uh, Reinhardt's you know one of his best abilities there. Uh, Savo is uh, is 50% back up to that Shatter. Uh, if they keep getting hacked, they won't be able to build it. Uh, or I'm sorry, if you know if they are not able to cross distance, they won't be able to build it. But uh, you know you've got uh, you've got Xander here with their own Earth Shatter. And an early, early immortality field committed by Kitten Spy. 
That early immortality field, and that's gonna be a lot of damage coming out, as that's gonna be a huge pick. Garrett takes out uh, uh, Prowler on that Reinhardt and Yibo going down as well. As Summer says she's gonna have to buy more time here as uh, they're looking for another pick from Andrew on this Rodog, but it does seem like they're gonna be caught out. No, it's a debate. Oh my goodness, what a play coming in for the time being. Does not get that kill off the side of the Mac because of the translocator, but now it's even. It's two people down for the side of Winber. They're gonna come back. Evo gonna be popping this uh, attack visor as well, but it's not looking like it's going to matter. Be won't because the dragon. Uh, the dragon is gonna be huge from. Garrett, the Yibo does find two, but it's not looking good right now. The EMP coming out as well. The self-destruct gonna take down the uh, Riptire coming in from Ben, but still, it's not looking good for Somerset. They need more picks and they need it quickly because it is this last fight territory. If they lose it, they do get this point captured back as it does seem like Winber is gonna regroup for the time being. Yeah, you know, honestly, I, I kind of didn't want to see Winber back up out of there. It's probably safer that they do so, however. They'll have Rally coming into this next fight. It's uh, going to be Owen with that Brig ultimate, and already picks are coming through. Yeah, as uh, Ben taking out Yibo early on in this fight, but it does, uh, Prowler does turn it back. They take out Owen early on as well, but Arsenal, as Arsenal is going to try to focus down these people uh, with their um, their focusing beam. They do take out cancel some, uh, they cancel out the shatter, but it's still not looking good. Winber keeps getting these picks back into the favor, especially with Ben on this Junkrat, finding two there as well. They're gonna try to do something. Yubo does take out Ben, but it's still looking good for the side of Winber because they've had the, all these numbers. Yibo trying to do something. They're trying to keep it as long as they can. And they might be able to as it's just this Rodog left on point. The pin coming out. They've got the breath to take. Uh, but it does seem like Somerset somehow wins this fight here, Ethan. Yeah, that was a crazy back and forth exchange between Winber and Somerset. Somerset to just barely hold on uh, to the agency in that team fight. It was a really uh, one big extended brawl there. And uh, in Winber, you know, it, it's actually kind of interesting. You know, they're they're playing a retake. They, they, they're playing to retake the objective, right? Uh, but, um, but, you know, the way that they're securing these picks, it it just extends that uh, that mid-fight duration. Uh, so it means ultimately things don't go their way. It, it's a little unfortunate. Garrett had uh, had fallen uh, there in the latter moments of the round uh, with the Hanzo ultimate. So, you know, you'll see Winber offer a slightly different uh, strategy here. There's still going to be a lot of damage on the side of Winber Ramblers. Look at Garrett now, uh, now taking a little bit of license there on the Bastion. Yeah, as uh, they're going to look to get set up early, but Arsenuru on the Symmetra is going to be very difficult for them to set up. But, well, they get to the point first, but they go down. Prowler looking to get that charge in, but did not see the Bastion in until late. Because they're going to go down early on in this fight, and there's no more main tank to hide behind to keep them all up and healthy as the side of Winberg are going to be able to win this fight out. Looking to get these last couple of picks to... Uh, to to stabilize. Yeah, you know, Winber will get first control of the objective here, uh, but, you know, we uh, last round we saw them control the objective plenty and still ended up losing that round. Uh, it, it's uh, it, it should have been a disengagement here from Somerset uh, because Yibo ends up going down, and, you know, that's a lot of the damage that you need to cut through these barriers. Oh! <laughs> Savo Brawler comes through with a 2k charge, taking out both Owen and Xander early on in this fight, and that's gonna be a very good way to retake this point. The Riptire is gonna come out looking to take out Brawler. It does indeed, but it does get flipped over to Somerset for the time being, with the regroup trying to come in from the side of Winber, but they don't get the the ability to set up that bastion as Yibo takes them out. They do come back. They get a nice charge onto Yibo, but with the total mayhem taking out Xander as well, this does seem like uh, Somerset are going to stay in the favor on the point. Yeah, for for Winber, it goes back uh, to that first round. It's just you know there there's uh, there's a time to engage, a time to reset. For Winber, that time to engage is now. 
uh, looking to stay alive is Arsenulu, but no, they're gonna go down here. They do take out Veronica early on in this fight, so it is an even trade all around. Damage for support. The Red Tire now coming out, finds both MJ plays and Yibo. The self destruct finds nothing. The rest is there. Does get MJ plays back into the fight, but they don't get into the mech as the side of Winberg coming back strong as Powler is going to die as that is Winberg's fight to win. I think I've said this on a uh, on a TC broadcast before, uh, Joker, but, you know, no expenses spared, really, from either side. Uh, you know, in, in a matchup like this one, uh, it, you want to look at and talk about the ultimate cycling. There really isn't much going on in that regard, but regardless of the expenses, Winburst still has some good resources to hold this point. They might not even need them. Look at that! Yeah, they do take out two, but Arsenal is also getting two of their own as the Shatter comes through. But the whole hog coming in from Andrew is going to be huge, keeping them away from focusing down that on-the-ground bastion. They're going to pop this tank configuration as well. Is, um, is Andrew coming through? Sorry, not Andrew. Garrett coming through with three-piece with the, uh, the, junk, or, sorry, the bastion. I do as well, like, uh, uh, you know, in terms of the uh, the DPS players, I do like Ben on the uh, on the Soldier 76 here. That's just a lot of consistent damage that uh, Arsene Wu, without that Photon Barrier, that they'll have a hard time mitigating. Um, uh, MJ plays, there's a lot riding on them to make sure that most of that damage is mitigated here in this final fight. Yeah, they're going to come through now, looking to get something doing, but Arsenal is going to start things off. They've taken out Veronica, and it is a huge pick indeed. The Mercy no longer available, but if they can also get this Bastion out, that would be huge as well, because it is even all around right now, but Somerset is down, people as there it finally goes it does go into the favor of somerset the res is there uh, but ben is still alive trying to do something but they are going to be able to take it back in the 11th hour yeah I i'll tell you though uh, that uh the hero play from ben there at the last second just to touch you know secure an elimination onto arson uh, hey, that was uh, that was pretty good um winber really spent resources there that they're really going to be wishing they had in this uh in this following fight look at somerset coming up on both dps ultimates and both tank ultimates there's a lot of opposition here in true last team fight territory we're gonna see here coming forward they still got this bastion but it's gone down early on the whole hog is there from andrew to try to get as much damage as they possibly can but all these picks are now going to the favor of somerset they don't even get the kill onto the mercy just as they say that they do but yibo's already found three in this fight so it's not looking like it's going to matter that they did get that mercy as the overtime bar is gonna tick down they are gonna contest the point for as little as they possibly can because they go down to the self-destruct from MJ. Yeah, that was uh, that was really way closer uh, than uh, than even I had anticipated. Definitely a lot closer than Somerset would like. Ultimately, clutching out wins on both rounds there. Uh, I don't know if Twitch chat can see the uh, match chat here, but Arson drops very close. Yeah, it definitely was very close here on both of these rounds. There's that big rip tire opening up the fight here for uh, Winber to take control of this objective on Nepal Village. I, I would have loved to see these teams duke it out on uh, on Nepal Sanctum. A little sad that we didn't get to see that third map, but hey, great start from Somerset. Definitely some great start indeed. Some uh, great, uh, some great junk rap play indeed, yeah. uh, especially coming up from both of these teams, as we saw there on um, on both um, Village and um, oh no, I forget. I always forget the, the this name. What I think is it's Shrine? Name? It's Shrine, right? Yeah. Okay. See, there's always these this one subset map that I always forget on the con each control point. Yeah, I get uh, Legion Gardens and Night Market confused all the time. Actually, <laughs> it's uh, 
I, I mean, I just call it Lijiang Tower. That makes it that makes it easy for me. But then you remember that, uh, you know, all of it's on uh, different locations. Uh, speaking of different locations, we'll be jumping into the hybrid game mode for our next map. It's going to be the uh, Moonlit Streets of Dorado that we see the next showdown take place. And we did get to see a little bit of Bastion earlier this afternoon on Dorado. What are the odds that we see Garrett uh, take up our favorite Omnic hero? Well... I don't, I don't know, because um, I've definitely seen, we've we've seen Winber play, and I think that's something that they normally do, um, if I'm not mistaken. I, 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 I'm i trying to recall the last time we saw them, but um, yeah, they, they, uh, I think they've ran Bastion before on the, uh, the Escort type, map type, but um, we'll have to see. They're going to be defending first, so we won't see, uh, I mean, we still might see the Bastion on defense. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we'll. Yeah. I guess the only way to find out is here in about fifteen seconds. Um, it, it's kind of crazy uh, to think about the team fights and the way they unfolded, uh, Joker, and and even despite, uh, I'm a little afraid to admit it, but even despite thousands upon thousands of Overwatch played and watched and now hundreds of hours coached and casted. I, you know, Joker, I, I'll be honest, I, I have a hard time figuring out why Winber wasn't quite able to clutch up these fights. It, it, do you have a little bit of insight in that regard? You know, maybe a direction that they could go in to find victory here on Dorado? Well, I, I don't know, uh, because they definitely should have won it, but I always think when you're winning fights but then you allow the team to come back and stall out get the picks that they need to win this fight out it's always a focusing problem and uh if that that's the biggest thing i i could say when needs to focus them more but it, it's or focus down the, uh, the the correct targets more but uh they were doing that and it's it's really odd. Uh, I, I don't actually know how they lost the fight. I'd have to watch it over again to see who got yeah. picked there first, wh who got picked, uh, what ultimates were used. But we're talking about Dorado now, and we're going in. And this first fight's already underway as Gera is trying to take out Arson, and they do indeed. But still, uh, the fight goes on, and they're looking to get things going. But Garrett continues to run uh, this reign of dominance with this... Uh, with this Hanzo pick, as well as this Bastion coming out from Ben, just pumping in so much damage. They do get the res on a Prowler, but it's not looking good for them right now. They need to get a pick from Arson on this Doomfist, but eh, uh, because uh, unless uh, they get some other form of picks, but that 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 is your, the whole point of a Doomfist, the pick to get a, the first pick in the fight. Yeah, to go in really aggressive, find that uh, early elimination, establish the man advantage, and maybe create some space as well. There you go, there's a little bit of space created, but from both sides. Yeah, so both sides are creating some space, but it's looking good for the side of Winber at the moment, but the reses are coming through from both of these teams, and it is even all around, but the respawn advantage is going to be very much in the favor of Somerset for the time being. It's not close enough to that door yet where uh, Winber has this advantage, but they still have this Bastion, which is going to pump in so much damage, and Garrett just being able to hold true with the Hanzo pick that we've seen them do so well on, so far continuing to get damage and picks the nano boost is now going to be invested on this prowler but arson who's down early on in this fight and another dragon strike coming out from garrett it's going to take down thick swiss early on and that should be winber winning this fight yeah garrett is uh garrett is not playing overwatch they're at the bank cashing in ult charge that they've accrued over such short periods of time to just unleash furious uh dragon strikes into the midline of somerset i think we've yet to see a dragon that doesn't really secure a pick and even if there is one that hasn't gotten a pick it's secured a ton of space but holy moly look at that that's the first time i've ever seen meteor strike do something <laughs> Uh, it's incredible. The three piece coming in after amazing shatter from Salvo Prowler, as that's going to open things up for Somerset. 
Uh, yeah, I was never going to express at any point uh, doubt in the Doomfist pick from Arsene Wu, but, uh, you know, hey, there is. that's because there's absolutely no reason to. Look at that. Because of the three-piece on the Meteor Strike, Yibo is able to hold on to this uh, Reptire. That's an early fight uh, win condition right here. As Arson going into the back line, looking to get something doing, but Garrett, yeah, again, showing up in the kill feed on this Hanzo. As, um, yeah, this is going to be very difficult to push into. This is a very close area. There comes the Dragon Strike as well. That's just going to be a lot of damage to come through. As Garrett's going to take this uh, wraparound look to get as many picks as they possibly can. The whole hog coming out as well. Maybe a bit of overalting and a one fight from Winver. But, uh, I mean, they got the the Riptire coming out from Yibo as well as, um, they, they're definitely looking to just open things up, and they do open things up indeed. They take down both the Ana and Reinhardt here. Yeah, that's the main support and the main healer there, but you've still got plenty of healing, plenty of sustain here on the side of Winber. They'll be coming into this next fight with the Valkyrie. That's always when you ult is to compensate for Amanda's advantage. We'll see what uh, Ben is able to acquire with the tank configuration as well. And that's going to get uh, Ben out of the uh, out of that position. This is going to open things up. Nope, just as I say that, Garrett finds another headshot on to someone from Somerset to open things up. And the Dragon Strike coming out yet again. The Self-Destruct looking to find something. They do not get that perfect picture perfect like we saw earlier from Tommy B. But they're going to open things up. There comes the tank configuration out and about. They find Yibo early on, and that should just be enough. The, the anti-nade does come in on to Ben. They might be able to turn this back because they've invested in Ana Boost. The Shattered find three as well as Zabu Prowler going to find a couple with the charge yet again. And this should be Somerset going to be able to keep pushing forward. Oh, don't back up there, Slavo. Push, go after the Roadhog. Don't let him live there in the church. Wow. And uh, just because of that, Andrew's able to find that uh, pick onto Yibo. You know, wondering, where was my team? Where are you guys? And look, this entire time, Owen and uh, and, and, and Andrew are both living right now. They're going to be able to regroup with the rest of the Ramblers and uh, make a uh, successful stabilization on second point if they play uh, if they play correctly. Uh, Arson looking to take out this damage. No, they're gonna go down here to Garrett. The whole hog with the nano boost is there. As um, that is just gonna be an, uh, a win coming in for the side of Lindbergh. The nice regroup and re engage from uh, the team in blue. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think that maybe that's a little bit of what we were missing uh, from uh, from Nepal is uh, just both of these teams being as aggressive as possible at all times. And uh, well, Winber is uh, is definitely uh, being aggressive here on Dorado. Uh, they are holding the cart, maintaining it right now at a corner that would uh, would make a second point capture or would make advancing it that far really straightforward. That's a nice clean kill on team. If, if Winber somehow lose this, it's definitely not going to be on the back. Uh, it's not going to be Garrett's fault here because every yeah. fight is at least one pick coming in from the Hanzo. I don't think they've been uh, off, uh, not on fire at all as uh, Prowler going in and trying to take out someone. They do go down, but it is traded out. Arsene Wu is taken out. Um, the main tank of Winber, the Sumter Shot coming out as well from the Riptire, looking for something. They take out Owen. The Riptire needs to find something, and they do. They solo out Garrett, as that was a big pick they needed to take out of this fight. Now they have a chance. They need to get more, and they need to get more quickly. They can, If they take out Andrew, that is going to be huge. But Prowler is going to be the first one to go down. The attack visor coming out is not finding anything from Yibo. They finally take out Andrew, but again, they still need more because the respawns are coming in from Winber. They take out Prowler with the tracer of Garrett as Garrett comes back, finding Purple. The tank configurations there as well, taking out Yibo. It's just MJ plays left as they finally hold on on second point. Ooh, wow, that was uh, that was a display from uh, from Winber, and uh, and I gotta say, I mean, you know, the the couple of times that I've seen Winber play, it's uh, 
I mentioned this uh, last series is it's just it's a slower paced Overwatch and and now off the back of some really beautiful eliminations, uh, a composition that is difficult to fight through if you are their opponents. Uh, Wimber is is really getting to dictate uh, the terms that each engagement is taken on. It's uh it, it's absolutely nutty. I. I'll be honest, I didn't think that I'd get to see this from Wimper. I didn't realize that I needed this in my life, but here I am getting it, and uh, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, if Wimper is able to win this game as well, uh, that takes us to the ever-elusive map three. That takes us to the, uh, to the assault game mode, and I mean, I really want to see how these high school teams handle that. But let's take a step back here. Somerset now needs to figure out what their defense is going to look like. And part of that look is going to be a lot of frontline pressure. Uh, for them, part of the win condition is breaking the barriers, the defensive resources of Winber, so that they can access uh, uh, Garrett on the uh, on the Bastion. I'm sorry, Ben on the Bastion now. Garrett is still on that Hanzo. And, uh, and I think that that's a pretty viable win condition yeah i don't know why he'd swap garrett off uh of the hanzo right now they're just kind of <laughs> yeah. um they're just doing a lot right now as um yibo is very low at this moment as well if mj plays they're gonna be demacked early on here from garrett that is huge coming in from the uh from this hanzo of winber yeah again to, to, to get rid of so much damage mitigation. Here's now this uh, Bastion can reign free as we're seeing. This is going to open things up for the side of Winburn. Yeah, and you know, I think that this is part of the difference that we're seeing as well on uh, on Dorado is, you know, Control Point, it plays like a glorified deathmatch, and that's exactly what we got to see unfold. I think that's where Somerset really holds a little bit more of an advantage, but here where it's all about the staging, the team play, ah, oh, unfortunate, they land the shatter onto, uh, onto Veronica there, but uh, uh, Prowler can't uh, finish it up. Uh, you know, anyways, on the hybrid game mode where, I'm sorry, uh, Escort, where it's, uh, you know, a little bit more team oriented, uh, you have to uh, be staging correctly you've got to take these fights on the right terms Winber is looking really strong and they're looking good coming into this next fight as well with both of their dps ultimates coming online there's nothing to speak of on the side of somerset yeah as garrett's gonna take out yibo yet again there comes the dragon strike out all the ultimates now uh, coming out from uh Winber. they're gonna be using that tank configuration as well they're trying to turn it back. They do get two picks in this fight. Coming in from Arsene U on this Symmetra. As they're going to be able to hold on to it because of the, Sym the Symmetra from Arsene. As the, the, the Photon Barrier is going to mitigate so much damage. They do get a bit over aggressive. But still, they hold on to the point for the time being. That late first point photon barrier from Arson uh, was incredibly impactful. You know, we've been talking about uh, Garrett popping off on the Hanzo. Uh, I gotta give credit where it's due. Arson came in really clutch uh, for uh, Somerset. That's an important stabilization to make, but the, team, the, the round is not over yet. There's still a couple more team fights ahead. Yeah, definitely, as Winber has a, uh, a boatload of ultimates to come in, and they might not even need it. Well, yeah, they're going to use a couple. They've used every ultimate they've had, in fact, uh, to uh, open this up. Well, and it worked out in their favor. They do get everything they need. It is just Thick Swiss and Arson left, and they go down and out as, um, they've got four minutes to get it to about half, a little bit more than halfway, or a little less than halfway to the end here. Yeah, I I, uh, I briefly mentioned this on the uh, on the defense round for Winber, but they stopped the objective at a really convenient location. Uh, you know, basically one and a half uh, uh, good team fights can occur uh, before they find that second point capture. And you know, the cart isn't just before the second point capture. It's in a really tenuous position, difficult to play in, especially considering the dragons have been thrown down that lane. Yeah, as they're gonna be using this far now. Ben just pumping in damage, not being dealt with at all. As the Shatter coming out from the back line, an interesting decision indeed, as Prowler is now going down. And that's just gonna not buy them time. It's gonna yeah, give Winber more time to push, in fact. As uh, Yibo is going to go down, they don't really have people to uh, engage on the point. They do take uh, Ben into a trap, but they can't focus them down quick enough before they get back into this fight and up into the air. As Winber look to clear things up, Yibo does find two, however, but 
it's not looking like it's going to be enough as Winber are going to be taking the map and tying the series up and going to our first uh, map three on stream, I think. I think so. A historic day for the TEC High School Overwatch League. Joker's Ransom, there's no one I'd rather be in the booth with than you and our wonderful producer than this and, and at any other time than this series where we finally get to see the assault game mode. I'm gonna have to turn off my camera. There's lights all around me, but man, the biggest one is, is the smile beaming on my face at the prospect of watching the assault game mode. Uh, we haven't gotten to talk about this game mode enough. And you know, we've had, uh, the, we've had different maps in previous weeks, but the map we're going to is a really good one. It'll be Hanamura for our our next map and uh and for match point between both these teams where we've gotten to see the deathmatchy style of somerset help them capitalize on potential victory and as well the team play oriented uh you know kind of play for each other composition that windblur that winber is looking to run it's such a phenomenal map for a final showdown in this series yeah um but before we head to the last map we're gonna take a quick intermission you do not go anywhere you're not gonna want to miss the final map of the night Welcome back, everyone. It is a map three time. It is going to decide a well. It might not decide a winner, but we're hoping it does because um, well, we've seen some fun Overwatch so far. As we're about to head into ha Hanamura here. Hanamura is uh, is one of the more appreciated maps uh, of the uh, 2CP game mode uh, as it's lovingly referred to by the Overwatch community. I actually won't beat around the bush. This is generally Overwatch players' least favorite map type. It's very challenging for solo, uh, for, for, you know, on the, on the competitive ladder where everyone's just playing as individuals it can be very difficult to navigate but here in organized team play you know these teams are they're scrimmaging they're practicing and uh and invariably they're spending time uh learning about how to how to capture the troublesome objectives of the assault game mode here on hanamura uh, like i mentioned it, it's an appreciated map it's a uh, it's a beautiful beautifully designed map and uh it, but but as well it fosters uh, it fosters some really strong defensive strategies and some really good offensive ones somerset is going to be the ones on the offense first here and one of those offensive strategies i mentioned is going to be that symmetra teleport arson uwu helps to escort the rest of somerset onto the objective very quickly. Don't have to worry about crossing the distance and sustaining damage in this courtyard area that Winber is currently positioned in. But again, you know, it's 2022. These teams practice, they scrim, they know this map. So Winber has to be prepared for that teleport strategy. Well, this is a... Oh, oh. <laughs> into the midline? What is that? That was a very interesting way to get into the point. It still got them there, and they're already set up, and they're pumping in as much damage as they possibly can, but they still have not found anyone, and they have not found any picks, and it's going to be Ben to start things off for the side of Winber. That was not how this was supposed to go if you are the side of Somerset. They get the Total Mayhem kill onto Xander, but there's just so much damage coming out from Ben on this Junkrat. That was uh, that was a really good retake from Winber. Uh, they uh, you know they staged in the courtyard, so you had um, uh, you had uh, Xander who was able to kind of distract uh, MJ plays there in the courtyard, while the rest of Winber just kind of collapses upon Somerset. It's going to force an adjustment out of the attackers now as well. Uh, you're going to see Arsenu Wu opt for the heavy frontline damage as a Reaper, uh, as opposed to that Symmetra. No more teleporting. Now it is just capturing that point. Hard to do so when they're down Prowler. Yeah, very hard to do so indeed, as they're just going to have to regroup now. 
and wait for this uh, respawn. They do get the immortality field out, and Arsen U is taking out Veronica as well. There is no, uh, there is no health pack for them at the moment. They do get it in the end. And they're gonna go back to their team as now they're gonna come in. Somerset have uh, to walk into this tag visor coming in from Garrett. However, it's Thick Swiss going down early on in this fight. They're trying to trade it back. They need to take him, uh, someone out. And but there goes another pick into the favor of Winbert. It's now Andrew um, with this Rodog finding pick after pick. They're trying to do something, but it's not looking good as Winbert continued to hold strong on this defense. Yeah, and, and, you know, despite losing Veronica early there, uh, they're able to come back from that. They use ultimates, again, to uh, to equalize that man disadvantage, and Somerset is left without an answer. We haven't gotten to talk enough about Veronica this series either. I gotta say, we haven't seen them die uh, in uh, in bad places very often this series. Uh, so, you know, with the Valkyrie, it's gonna be even harder to track down Veronica. That's gonna be really important. Yeah, and there's a whole hawk finding Thick Swiss early on, as well as Prowler. Evo's gonna try to turn it back. They're gonna invest this whip tire early on, but they need to find a big one. It's only gonna find Owen. And that's gonna be the side of uh, Winber yet yeah, again, winning this fight out. And they've, uh, they've uh, chunked down this time make a lot. It's down to a minute now. Yeah, that's dangerous territory to play in if you are the attackers because, you know, even despite getting uh, onto the objective, you have to capture 33% of objective progress uh, in order to uh, in order for that progress to matter. Uh, so, uh, you know, Somerset is on the back foot here just a little bit, but they have ultimate support ults coming into this fight. And they do indeed, and it's out to nice. MJ finds two, those are the two picks you wanted. Indeed, the self destruct or sorry, the Shatter coming out as well, as Ben's gonna try to turn it back. They find two with this Junkrat Riptire, as well as Garrett with a 2K on the, uh, oh my goodness, three coming in from Garrett on the Soldier 76. Oh my goodness, Ethan. I, 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 I don't know what to say <laughs> besides that. I mean, the, the DPS for Winber are, are stepping up. Uh, you've got uh, Andrew really making waves of impact on the Roadhog. And look, they've, oh, what is that hook? Oh my goodness, they're lucky they had that Valkyrie online. They're trying to do something. The Death Blossom is out. They find three, it, but it looks like it is traded. They do get that res onto uh, Savo Prowler as well. But right, so right now, it does look good for Somerset. They've got the ability to get this point unlocked. They get the res onto Owen, however, but it does not seem like it's going to be enough. There's just too much uh, an overwhelming presence for Somerset on this point right now. But I, I, I don't know. Uh, they're, they're, they're getting, Winber's getting their respawns back. They're looking to continue to get it. In fact, they've got both DPS. Ben and Garrett are there. They need to find a pick if Winber wants to hold on, and they do. They take out Yemo. There's, there's no way this is possible. There's no way Winber wins this, but the respawns are coming back, as there's, they're going to pop the tap visor as well. Oh, my God, Winber. There's no way. There, there, there isn't. They brought it back. They, they swung a team fight that they deserve to lose. Joker, they're still in it. They commit the rip tire. You've got Ben coming through for the team. The, uh, 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 the, the proactive support gameplay from Winber, Veronica, and Owen each doing their own. I gotta say that the revive onto Owen er, like early in that last fight was uh, was interesting to me considering the losses that the Ramblers had sustained. But man, oh man, did Veronica make the right call. Owen's able to proc the immortality field at the right time, deploy the amplification matrix, and help Garrett live long enough to build that next tactical visor. I, I, it's just absolutely insane. Is Somerset, don't get me wrong, they they started out that fight really well. MJ plays with a double kill on the self-destruct I mentioned earlier. It's so hard for even me to get one kill with the self-destruct, but they get two. And then as well, you have uh, you have more picks secured. You've got point presence with Arsenu Wu on the Reaper, and uh, that was uh, that was uh, that was crazy. And, and that's the clash of styles that I kind of mentioned. Joker is you've got Somerset able to play this team deathmatch oriented play style, and Winber really leaning into. 
the you know the question of how do I enable you to play the game? So many Reinhardt players on ranked ladder are not going to like playing with a Roadhog as their off tank. They want additional damage mitigation from a Zarya or a Diva or a Sigma, right? But mm -hmm. you know, for for Xander, Xander says to Andrew. Pop off on the hog. You are all I need on the front lines. We'll see if Somerset can emulate that same team play oriented style, or if maybe their ability to thrive in that deathmatch setting helps them hold this objective. It is winnable for Somerset. It definitely is. They did get that progress on the point. And then I'm gonna throw it back to what I said on Dorado. The biggest thing they need to do right now is focus down targets effectively because that was their biggest problem on that deep, uh, that attacky phase. They could not, they did not focus down those supports. They kept people alive, and well, uh, they paid for it in the end. As uh, when we're gonna be stalled out here for the time being, here, uh, but they're gonna try to no, nope, they're gonna just still be stalled out as Owen goes down to a fire strike. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of overzealousness uh, from uh, from uh, I think that's Owen there on the Brigida, uh, kind of dashing in and, and seeing about proccing that Inspire. Uh, you, you know, that's the thing about playing Brig is actually you know, the thing that I learned recently is that I can't be greedy or overeager with my Inspire Ooh. uptime percentage. But oh, look at these picks coming through, despite the Ant Matrix. Yeah, the Ant Matrix not getting uh, the value that you'd have liked if you are Somerset because. Well, they lose this fight, it, they most likely lose this map and the series as right now it's looking like it's going to be that way as Garrett continues to pop off on this Hanzo roll, finding a Dragon Strike kill. There it does seem to be it. They have some respawns coming back to Somerset, but how long can they hold on is the question. Arson is going to have this rip tire, but can they stay alive to pop it? No, they cannot as they're going to go down, and that's going to be it, Thethan. Winbert takes the series and denies the uh, Somerset of a undefeated season. Yeah, that's going to be Somerset 2-1 after, uh, after this series now in the standings, and Winber, uh now at a 2-2. They've had a... Uh, uh, I mentioned this before, a little bit of a slower start to the uh, to the season. And, uh, you know, as we talk about the, the, the real journey of the uh, TC High School League is, you know, learning how to play the game competitively. Winber is, uh, Winber is absolutely learning. Uh, all the other teams that are doing well, uh, it, really all the teams in the league, uh, keep Winber on your radars, guys. Uh, these uh, these uh, lessons that they're learning, you know, they might uh, they might outpace uh, the, the the speed at which other teams are learning or observing the game. Uh, perhaps the matchup that we thought we really needed, uh, uh, Joker, was a Winbler uh, Winber versus Forest Hills rematch. But uh, we'll, we'll wait just a little bit longer on that one. Well, yeah, well, we'll definitely have to wait for that one until most likely playoffs um, well, because uh, they've already played and we saw them lose to uh, Forest Hills then as um, yeah, that uh, and I, I just want to keep uh, just want to say Garrett was just incredible. Uh, they, uh, both both Garrett and Ben were incredible through that entire series and I without the performance, we could be seeing a completely different uh, script here. Yeah. I, I absolutely agree. You know, credit is where, where credit's due. Definitely uh, space creator from the tanks and uh, constant enablement from uh, from attentive support players on the side of Winber definitely helped them to uh, to get this victory. But man, oh man, if that isn't made a lot more simple of an endeavor with the eliminations that uh, uh, that Winber was able to uh, to secure. Uh, big shout out to Garrett and Ben on the DPS role, really stepping up today. Yeah, definitely. And uh, well, that's really going to be about it for us next week same time same place um for division one overwatch action and tomorrow starting at 3 30 p.m eastern standard time or eastern daylight time i believe that is now uh the second half of this week's division one rocket league double header will take place here on this channel twitch.tv slash esport the esports company and um so make sure to check that out. Uh, a lot of good, um, a lot of good people that I know. Uh, I don't know who's going to be casting it, but I know there's a lot of good people in the uh, the the, ca the casters for uh, the T H uh, T E C High School League that could be doing it. Uh, so make sure to check that out.
And, and then exclamation point socials to follow the esports company socials and exclamation points casters to follow the casters here. It was a uh, it was a really fun series and absolutely make sure that uh, you're staying up to date with everything TEC related. That is all the games that we'll see here on the channel. Uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, show some love uh, for all of our contenders uh, today and in the league as a whole, as well as to our casters and production team at the uh, TEC league uh, for today. Unfortunately, not the three series we expected it, uh, but, uh, you know, definitely two very fun matchups we got to watch tonight. But, you know, keep in mind if you guys are staying up to date then you guys will be able to catch all the overwatch action heading forward next week we'll see y'all next time